Hey everybody, it's Jennifer and today we are going to start my cabinet transformation. I'm so excited to finally be filming this. If you enjoyed the video while you're watching, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. We'll be doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers and I am so close when I'm recording this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Right now all we're doing is taking the cabinet doors off of my little hutch here in the corner that's built in and we're removing the panels of glass, the handles, and the hinges so we can paint those and be able to paint the cabinets. I'm switching between a, an, ele an electric drill and a regular Phillips screwdriver so I don't have to change the bits out back and forth. There's one door down with the glass off and all the other hardware off. This actually ended up taking us just to take the doors off about 30 minutes to get all the hardware off of it as well. I also forgot to mention, but I think I repeat myself later in this video, I will have all of the paint and supplies I used linked down below or listed because I'm not going to link sandpaper and stuff, but the paint I use will be linked down below. A good tip to make sure you don't misplace your hardware is put all of the screws and everything into one bowl, and then I actually just got a Walmart bag to put the hardware and things in. I wish I would have ended up with two different bowls for our screws because we had two different lengths of screws, but we ended up just mixing them all together, and then it was a mess trying to re-separate them out later. This is the paint kit I'll be using. James is about to show it. It's by Nuvo. It's just the cabinet paint kit in titanium infusion, which is basically just white paint. I bought mine off of Amazon, and like I said, I'll link it down below. It was fairly inexpensive, and I did my entire kitchen with, I think, that kit comes with two cans of the paint, and I think I ended up using three because I put an extra coat on everything. But I also bought extra cans of paint anyway because I'm also painting my bathroom, vanities, and the cabinets above my laundry room. Above my laundry room? In my laundry room, above my washer and dryer. So I had extra paint as well. Nuvo also sells a top coat you can apply. I didn't put it in my kitchen, but I will probably end up putting it in my bathroom because those are probably going to get more wear than my kitchen cabinets do. This is what the front side of the glass looks like and the back side. I'll explain later how I removed the gold to just have the mirror on it. I'm actually putting on the gloves because the water I mixed up was super hot. But according to the kit instructions, once you get everything taken off, you need to wipe down your cabinets really well with TSP. I bought powder TSP from Lowe's, but Walmart sells a liquid that I wish I would have bought. I just followed the directions on the TSP box and mixed it with, I think, two gallons of hot water. So I have on gloves because the water was super hot. I take them off here in a minute when the water cools off. We're just wiping those down with regular washcloths. The hutch only had six doors, whereas my the other side of my kitchen has way more doors and it took way longer for us to get just the prep work done painting it actually didn't take that long removing all of the doors all the hardware and cleaning it and then sanding it is what took the longest we're about to do an angle change so don't like freak out or anything 
We just cleaned off my table and we just put a tarp down that I bought at the Dollar Tree to make sure we didn't end up painting my table. I'm just removing the rest of the dishes from my little hutch over there and we're just going back over it with a microfiber cloth to try to dry it a little bit and wiping everything down again. You want to make sure your cabinets are super clean before you paint them because if you have any little dust particles or food stuck to it or anything like that it's going to show through the paint and create a bump and you want your paint to be as smooth as possible so we're just really making sure everything is clean and smooth. I'm so sorry you can't really see what we're doing but I promise we're just wiping out the cabinets. I found a random nail that wasn't hammered in all the way, so that's why I have a hammer out. And I'm taking off the gloves now that the water's not nearly as hot. So now that we have all the cabinets cleaned off, James is opening up the paint kit. It just comes with one little roller handle, a paintbrush, two paint stirrers, two of the little rollers for the handle, which I'm an idiot and couldn't get it on. I even end up trying to slam it in with the table and I could not get it on. I give up here in a minute and just let James do it. There's a close-up of the can of paint. And if you're going to be doing this, um, I suggest getting some drop cloths to put down. That's what we're doing now is just unfolding them and laying them across my entire kitchen floor. The three doors that are on my table, I just laid straight on that tarp. But the other cabinet doors, um, I ended up setting on empty paint cans from where I painted my entire house. So I had a lot of paint cans. Um, it's just easier to paint when something's not completely flat to the ground. So we just had them set onto the paint cans and we had the drop cloth underneath in case paint dripped, which it did. But a pro tip, if you end up getting paint on your floor somehow, they sell goof off at most stores and you can just take that on a little rag and it'll remove any of the paint that you've dropped everywhere because when we were painting my walls, I got paint on the floor as well. but you definitely want to do a little spot test. I had extra pieces of flooring, so I just tried it on that to make sure it wouldn't strip my floor. So now we're going in with sandpaper. I think we ended up using 120 grit. I can't remember what the instructions told us to use, but this is just the sandpaper I had left over from all the other remodeling I do. You want to make sure you sand just enough to get the varnish off. My cabinets are laminate. So we couldn't sand a ton, a ton, because we would have ended up peeling off the laminate. But we did sand enough to knock the shine off, and that's just going to help the paint adhere better and last longer. Because the hutch has glass doors on the front, I am sanding and painting the inside of it, but the rest of my cabinets, I did not paint the inside of it because that just seems crazy and they weren't even, they didn't have the laminate over it anyway. It was just bare wood, so it felt kind of senseless to paint the inside, but I do paint the top of the hutch on the inside because of the glass doors. Now we're just taking microfiber cloths and rags and we're cleaning off our tarp to make sure none of that sand 
sand dust, sawdust, whatever you want to call it, doesn't stick into our paint. But you also want to run over your cabinet doors and the rest of your cabinets with something microfiber just to make sure you grab all those little dust particles. You can go back over everything with TSP, but we were following the instructions and it said to just go in randomly with microfiber cloth. Now we are finally going to start painting. James has the roller and I have the little edge brush. He swears up and down I'm better at doing edging, but you can see here in a minute that I end up getting paint on our wall. So thankfully I have paint left over from the gray and I can just go back over it and fix where I got paint everywhere. The kit says to do two coats, so we're just doing a light first layer to see how the paint dries. This paint is water-based acrylic paint, so it dries very quickly to the touch. While James is rolling everything out, I'm going through and getting all the corners and anywhere where there's like a beveling on our cabinet, I'm going over the edges so that he can go over it all the way with a roller. I learned that trick here in a minute because I end up trying to paint that entire hutch with a paintbrush while he's doing the doors and it was a little bit of a wreck. I recommend using the edge brush to do the edges and then using the roller. I was just trying to get as much done as possible because we were on a time frame because I didn't want to be doing this with Ellie in the house because of paint fumes and the sanding and all of that. I cut out a lot of when James is over at the hutch with me doing the rolling while I'm doing the trim because you can't even see what we're doing. So I'm going to cut this out here in just a minute. Just trust that we're just painting everything inside and out. That kit does not come with a, I don't even know what you call those, paint tray, I guess. It doesn't come with one, but I had some left over. Our so first I coat those. of paint on the hutch. Don't worry about the countertop here. I'm going to be putting marble on it. So, first coat on half of the front of these doors. Whenever that dries. All right, so we let that set and dry for about 30 minutes. The kit says until it's dry to the touch. And then after that, you can do another coat. So we waited until they were dry to our touch, to the touch. Now we're just doing a light second layer. And now I've learned, I think this is when I learned to stop trying to paint the entire hutch with the paintbrush and to use the roller. It just wasn't covering as heavily as the roller does. It didn't leave any streaks or anything though while it was dry so I mean if you wanted to I guess you could you just do more coats if you used only the paintbrush. Like I said before, the actual painting didn't take us that long. It was just all of the prep work. These are 21 year old cabinets, so they were pretty rough. And there was one cabinet door under my sink that had just gotten beat to shit. So it took a lot of extra sanding and a lot of extra um, prep work to make sure it looked okay.
so we have a second coat done. The kit instructions say you only have to do two coats, but I think they might have been a damn lie. What do you think? Well, I don't... Nouveau, I think that the paint looks good. Don't be, uh... Don't listen to her. Uh, but we do need three coats. Yeah, we're gonna need three coats. So we're waiting on that to dry. This does dry super fast to the touch, which the kit says once it's dry to the touch, you can add another coat. We've been doing thin coats. So I think one more coat might get it. <laughs> like, and the bottom's done too. I think one more coat might get it and... Then we're gonna let this all dry overnight. Will that dry over tonight? Um, and I think maybe once the doors are dry to touch, we're gonna flip them and do two coats on there. Oh, we're definitely probably gonna be three on the other side too. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Do the back side of these doors because tomorrow, 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 tackle the, we're gonna tackle the insane amount of wood over here. Like, I don't even have a lot of cabinets. I have a small kitchen. Um, once again, all the hardware is going to be silver and the countertops, including right, whoa, right there on that microwave cart, it's all going to be marble. And then I have black and white subway tile for the backsplash. You know, no lie. I don't think it's going to take nearly as long because, uh... We're champions at it now? Well, sure, but we're being tacky and not painting the inside of the other ones. <laughs> Yeah, we had to paint the inside of that because it has glass panels on these three doors, which, fun story, guys. I had them in the recliner because I'm an idiot, and I shattered one. Like, the bro bottom of it got broken off. So here's the other two, and I showed you in a fast clip, but so you guys know. This is what they looked like before they had gold. I'm not a gold person, so I scraped the gold off of the front, so now it's just mirrored, which is super pretty. And I don't know how we're going to be able to replicate that design. James said maybe do these two that have designs on them on the outsides and then do the middle with nothing, like just plain glass, which I think is probably what we're, what we're going to do since I broke one, but that's a check-in. All right, guys, so I didn't film us painting these cabinets because we did it the exact same as how we painted that little hutch over there, but all the cabinet doors have been flipped and painted. We went ahead and did the bar, and all of our cabinets are officially white. I'm so excited. We have one hidden under our table. All of the drawers are white. Um, these are dry. They're the doors for these, but I don't know how well you'll be able to see in here. This is our hardware. We only got to get one side of it, so... As soon as we wake up in the morning, we'll have to go back over this. So, that's not going to be fun. So, the fact that I got all of this done in a day and a half gives me faith that I can get the bathroom done and these up here done way faster. So, I just wanted to do an update. The Nouveau paint kit definitely said to do two coats and we ended up doing three to get it super opaque and we didn't have extremely dark cabinets um at all they were actually pretty light <laughs> they're laminate so they weren't soaking up a ton of the paint so the only thing that sucks now is from where my dad smoked in here so much the refrigerator the stove and the hood look supremely dingy but i think we're gonna do black appliances. My dishwasher is already black, so I think that's our next goal. <gasps> We're getting close, guys. The kitchen is almost done. This was the hardest part, in my opinion, I think. And I'm so happy that James got a few days off from work so he could help us with it. But I think they look really good. These are just dry to the touch. Don't look at my nails. Um, these are just dry to the touch. We're going to let them set out and dry um, before we stack them up in a corner and wait on the hardware to dry. So, just wanted to give you guys a little check in. I love it. Our kitchen looks so bright and it looks 10 times bigger than it actually is just because of all the white. We are done with my cabinets. I'm going to make doing. Okay, before we go over there. My kitchen is not all the way back together for one and for two 
it's a mess because I actually live here, so there's dishes and stuff. Just ignore that. But the cabinets are done. And I went ahead. This looks atrocious. My kitchen looks terrible. But I went ahead and I did paint my bar white. All of my cabinets are white. My kitchen looks completely different now. I'm so excited to finish the rest of it. Um, what I was saying before is I'm going to do my countertops and the backsplash as separate videos because I actually have to, I replaced this entire front wall already and I didn't realize that this was super soft so I need to replace, you can see the little separation right there, I need to replace that panel right there but I am really happy with how it came out. I know I didn't film us doing this side of my kitchen because, I mean, we did it the exact same way as that and that was already a ton of footage because that took us forever. And on the side, <laughs> I didn't tape off my edges because I'm stupid. Um, so the edges are really messy over on this side. They're not anywhere else because, you know, I didn't have to paint against a wall. So right there, the edges are super bad, but I'll just get the gray paint back out and, you know, go back through it and fix it a little bit. And also, I'm sure I'll say it in the video, but I broke <laughs> one of these glass pieces. So we painted all of the hardware satin nickel. Um, and we use, I'll link it down below off of Amazon. We use the Nuvo Cabinet Transformation Kit in Titanium Infusion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it really was not hard to do this at all. James and I actually got it all done in two days in one weekend and we just waited um, an extra day to put the hardware back on to make sure it didn't stick or anything. We didn't paint the inside of these cabinets obviously but I'm just in love now. So if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers and when I'm filming this we are so freaking close. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.